My name is Sonia Clark and I was born in Washington, D.C. I currently live in Richmond, Virginia. I wouldn't say that there's just one emotion that I'm trying to evoke in my artwork. Even if there is an intentionality to express one idea, one hopes that it doesn't just, I hope that it doesn't just end there. And so my job as an artist, what I'm trying to do is make an interface. Even though there's intentionality in the work, you know, I'm interested in how this thing mixes with that thing. Um, it's more that I'm trying to get at a question rather than an answer, because an answer is closure and a question is continued dialogue. There's a sort of call and response, if you will, between the work and the viewer, um, between the influence and the influenced. A good friend who is Nigerian, and um, his name is Balaji Campbell, he said, you know, Sonia, we draw from the same source. And by that, he was talking about um, Yoruba culture in particular. So there's this sort of resonance in the kinds of things that influence us. And he had this wonderful proverb that um, he shared with me, as a lot of Yoruba people do. A river that forgets its source dries up. So this notion of influences, for me, often has to do with a, a relationship to my ancestry, but also the ancestry of objects. And by that, I mean that I am interested in working with a material often because of the history of that material. If I work with a medium such as hair, and I actually am working with human hair, that is actually to work with an actual human being's DNA. And moreover, not just their DNA, but their ancestry, which is encoded in their DNA. Now that's powerful stuff. If I work with a comb, let's say, then a comb has history as a material culture object. So there's a dialogue and a resonance that the, hopefully the viewer already has as someone who grows hair or as someone who uses a comb or doesn't use a comb. And, and so there's, there's a resonance with the material too. So the influence, when I, when I think about this idea of influence, I'm always thinking about the roots, our roots as human beings, but even the roots that an object has. Every object that we make as human beings has a history, just as we have history. Every comb is related to every comb that has gone before it or every comb that comes afterwards. Every headdress is related to every other headdress that has come before it and every headdress that is coming after it. If I have a sort of obsessive um, influence, it's that. It's to find the DNA in things, to find the roots and then explore the branches.